You know, I've come to a realization right now. Lava sucks! Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mischief Makers. Last time, we finished the first set of levels for Megan Shrine with varying degrees of results. As you can see, it was the first time we got the double D in the, our terms of score. We did at least get one B, so, you know, bakers can't be choosers. However, we're going to have to deal with a different type of B in this video because we're going to a flambe, or I guess in this case, because of the pun, a flambe. But what could it be? It's a B! Not only any kind of B, it's a B that actually, you know, uh, shocks you when it stings you. Nope. Oops. Alright, I need to remember the... Uh, how, does, how did this fight go again? But of course, we gotta grab it when the, the reticle shows up. So we gotta grab his head, shake him. And then we need to punch his children. Just punch all the bee children. Ooh, maybe too many bee children. Ah, that's, that was the way. We're not actually supposed to get uh, grab his head. We need to grab his stinger. Let's give it a few more shakes and we should be good. Oops. And you don't not get hit by the stinger as well. All right, come here, Flambe. I got your number. Or maybe that's not the way we're supposed to get the gold gem for the fight. Nope, that's all of his uh, gems from his stinger. Ah, there's the gold gem. Alright, time to beat the children. Alright, now the actual way to fight him. You know, we just need to slam his head into the ground. Very easy. so bad for him though just listen to the sound he makes when he gets hit okay now I feel less sad for him he's had it coming now he's really getting having it coming to him all right come on flambe I'll turn you into a real flambe I wonder aha do a lot of damage if we actually do throw him into the lava. It's a risky maneuver, but however, it's one that gives us a lot of results. Okay, thank god that actually didn't combo me this time. Oh no, he's got a bee shield! What do we do? We punch the children! Ow. Oh, he missed. Time to punch the children yet again. No, I actually don't condone pun punching children. Unless it's bee children, in which case it's free game. Okay, seriously, I actually grabbed him that time. What the hell, game? You know what? I'm taking my frustrated Chanel on your children yet again. Only you can make this end, B. There we go. Couple dunks into the lava, and we are golden. Just gonna flex, show that we can shake it. And that's the fight. And we only got a C rank for that because I was screwing around with the children. All right, time for a, a tight ride, but not just any type of type ride. It's a tightrope ride. I don't know why I was going with that. Also, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Not really much of a tightrope, and more of just a clam ball roller coaster ride. But at least it's a nice calm level that we can get our health back from uh, the boss fight. That's sort of the thing that this game does. It lets you have a little calm before the storm, and then a little bit of a calm after the storm. Uh, let's see. 
this way. I get hit, but thankfully I was able to recover. Uh, let's head up. And yoink! Oh, you dick! Even you got a flower in your head! Why would you do that to me? You know what? This is what you get. Was that cruel? Yes. Do I care? Not really. Just gotta do a little bit of maneuvering for uh, these spike balls. Mine sharper! That takes care of these goons. I just want to jump over here and check real quick just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Looks like we're good. So let's head back over here and go through the wolf gate. Oh no, it's one of these things. Why do platforming games insist on doing the elevator type uh, platforming mechanic? Anything up here? No. Is it one of these? Just, I think maybe... The, oh wait, no, I know what I was supposed to do there. We need to keep going up. Oops. We're gonna need to pay attention to the clan balls up ahead. Because they don't really go in a pattern, they more so just go in a case that you can actually get to the next clan ball. However, you need to make sure that they are going, you're going in the right direction at them. Unlike that, thankfully, it's a pretty easy mistake you can recover from. Ooh, also need to be super careful with the warp gate up there because it's easy to accidentally grab onto it. I can see. Oops. Okay, I don't think those spikes actually come back if we activated them. Or, well, get hit by them. Nope, they actually do come back. They're the moving ones, so I guess it makes sense. Uh. Alright, we can do this. Just need to be super calm. Make all the cording jumps. Not accidentally hit the warp gate as well and end the level. Because even though I do like this song, I, I don't really want to revisit levels. Although, I, at some point, I actually am going to have to. I don't want to revisit them more than once, at least. Although, given what some of the levels are, I'm probably going to have to anyways. Hope you like the sound of her yelling, yeah, because we're going to be hearing it a lot. Oh, boy. Whew, we made it. There's our gold gem. A uh, couple of extra gems for a little bit of a goodie. Let's grab the ward gate and let's get out of here. Alright, four minutes. Still a C rank, but eh, what can you do? Alright, time for some free falling. I'm not even going to sing the song because, honestly, I've never really been a fan of that song. Got a little bit more of the, the 3D background again. Be super careful. I believe what we need to do for the gold gem was we need to go down straight and then go to the right and then go into that uh, hole where the spikes are. And there's our gold gem. Let's get up there. Oh, get up there. There we go. Grab ourselves the green gem and now we need to go back up because we need to actually hit the warp gate to get to the exit gate. As you can see, the warp gate for it is right there. This feels like a Mario Party minigame reject. Alright, got our first warp gate. I do have to appreciate the little, the little dropping sound effect they put for this level. I don't think it appears anywhere else in this game except for this level alone. Alright, there we go. That's the level. Let's get out of here. We probably still didn't get a A rank from that. Maybe we got a B rank at least. Yep, B rank. 
When it comes to going for the gold gems, unless it's like a very straightforward gold gem, uh, we're pretty much going to be seeing a B rank as our highest rank throughout the LP. At least until the very end. Then you'll be seeing A ranks. Alright, it's a race. It's a race. Oh man, this guy's cheating. That's what you get for being a cheater. Oop. Oh no, he came back for revenge. Fare thee well, friends. I'm jealous of all those lovely red gems back there I'm gonna have to miss out on. I'm just gonna have to hold for a bit. Hold, 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 fire! There's a boss waiting for you at the end of the shrine. It's Megan and his son, Megan Jr. They're very strong, but once you've gotten the hang of it, you can catch their punches. Then you can throw them into the left or right or up or down. Try them all. Also, Megan Sr. will heal his son if Junior is badly hurt. Attack wisely. So, a little bit of a hint for the boss coming up. I guess it makes sense to put it here. I think this is the last, like, normal level before we get into the boss fight. And Miss Hint doesn't actually show up during the boss fight itself. Alright, so we got another uh, moving platform right here. However, we got the little clam balls right here jumping on. Uh, they add weight to the to the platform, so we need to be super careful. We need to get these things off fast. If you feel like it might begin a little overwhelmed with weight, you can actually do a little bit of a hover maneuver to let them just drown themselves in the lava. Especially when we got these annoying little clancer guys right here. Ooh. Just gonna let them burn up a little bit. I don't know what the hell these guys, what are these like fitness instructor clancers? A little bit of another hint for, I believe, what the next school gym is, with that little arrow of gems. As you can see, there's our exit right there, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna stick to the platform for a while. I'm enjoying this nice little leisure cruise. Uh, actually, on the other hand, I make, uh, I changed my mind. <coughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to come back and revisit two levels this time to get the gold gems. Alright. Seasick Climb. I don't even know why they call it that, unless they're talking about a sea of lava. Maybe they are talking about a sea of lava. Nope, because there is no lava. Okay, and now I see why they call it Seasick Climb. Oh, God, I hope that no one's got any seasick uh, seasickness, or else this level's gonna suck for them. There's actually also one of the levels show showcased in the demo, and also one with 3D objects! Moving from the background to the foreground. Let's bring up a little bit, and there's our gold gem, however we can't get to it just yet. Also can't seem to get to this other clam ball right here, there we go. Gonna miss that real quick, just grab the gems that are over here real quick. And completely botched my jump. Nice. Way to go, me. It's the seasickness. It's getting to me. Oops. Uh, it's the seasickness. It's really getting to me. made to the top there's our big enough hole drop down here and we got ourselves our next gold gem all right I'll see you when I get back up top and when we get to the end of the level
Alright, and with that, we are done with all the basic levels for Megan Shrine. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Got ourselves a rank B, at least. I was kind of figuring with that time and all the missed and failed jumps, uh, that would have been a rank C, but I'm happy with the B. Alright, it is time for a Megan Brawl! Or you for Smash. Speak! Tell me who the Emperor is! I really don't know! I don't know anyone on this planet! So, you won't tell me. Well, it seems that the Emperor knows who you are! Of course he knows me! I'm famous! Everyone knows that! I'm the genius in robotics! What do you know? Now I'm only gonna ask you once more, and I'm gonna- and- then, it's gonna get ugly. You, Megan, and Son! You've gone too far this time. It's time to teach you both a lesson. Well, look who's here. I guess now we'll see who the real teacher is. Let's go, Son. School's in. Ooh, he's a big boy. He's an absolute unit. Son, what are you doing? Son? Oh no, he's got the prof! What's he gonna do with him? I do like how it cuts off as soon as he gets eaten. It's a nice little touch. Alright, time for the boss fight. The actual first official boss fight. Alright, so Son's gonna be doing a lot of things. We have to first send uh, his punches into Megan himself. We can actually, if we do fail the grabs, then Maria will actually sort of guard against it. We can grab his uh, fireballs to get some healing gems from it. But what, why we need to grab Megan is, as you heard from his hint earlier, he will heal his son if we actually, you know, let him, uh, you know, do actual, uh, stay in the fight longer. Plus, you know, his Electro Balls are super annoying. Although, it does give Maria a pretty good reaction where it looks like she's just absolutely rocking out against it. Grab this. Ah, missed it. I've already botched on the Gold Gem for this fight because we actually, to get the Gold Gem, you need to uh, beat both of them without taking any damage. As I said uh, in a past video, uh, there are some gold gems which require you to beat the boss with taking no damage. I missed the shot. And he is relentless with those electro balls. Oh, he's giving me no uh, reaction time. There we go. Two hits and he's good. Now we need to jump and just keep holding the, the hover button. Need to keep uh, deflecting his attacks as he keeps doing it until we see the one with the arrow. And then we missed. And then we just need to send it flying right back up into him. Get a couple of red gems for our efforts. Now, he actually does get really mean in some of these because he actually holds off on his punches at some points and kind of throws off your rhythm for it. Also, he kind of also mixes up his attacks. And as you saw, he was holding back on that punch. Punch right in the fist again. Employing the age-old strategy of the hot stop hitting yourself maneuver. I believe it takes only five hits to the face and then we've gotten Sun taken care of. So in total this boss takes about seven hits to hit, or to take down.
All right, son, come on. It's time to put you to bed. As you can see, oh, he, he's really uh, varying up his attacks and trying to fake you out more. This is where the game gets really evil in trying to get the gold gem with his fake outs. But that should do it. Nope. He's still got a couple more hits in him. Ah! He always holds off on that attack after he does a good long combo. There we go. Got him! Yep, there we go. Now he's down. So goofy. And now he's dead. And the prof is happy. Although, maybe a little bit too happy. And that's one thing I love about Maria. She does not take harassment standing down. She will yeet your ass across the entire planet if she has to, no matter who you are. Maria's efforts to help rescue the Prof Theo and the Emperor's plans have been destroyed. But your adventure is just beginning. Go on, Marina. You are our hope for victory. By the way, here's a useful tip. Do you collect gold gems? You'll need them at the end of the game, so start collecting them. Nice little fourth wall break there, uh, narrator. Grabbing is where you must begin shaking for treasure from within. Throwing far is how to win. Ultra Intergalactic Cyborg G Marina, her iron fist will destroy you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The standard rank C. I was kind of thinking with how long it took me for that one, it was going to be a rank D, but whatever. I'm happy. <coughs> Rise, Justice Warriors. Through fire, justice is served. Here's Luna. To punish evil forces, I have been It's Taurus time. A hero with shining armor is called Taurus Merkel. Listen up, warriors. Evil Theo and Marina are disrupting the Clancer's peace. I can't believe that the Meekins were defeated by them. They were a lot worse than the Meekins. Just look at the evil they spread. Let's show them some justice of our own. Bring them to me, alive. I, I'll never forgive them! I'll destroy anyone who dares disgrace this planet! No, don't destroy them. Bring them back, alive. I, Lunar, will completely destroy them! Oh man, he's packing! <laughs> Enough! I said alive! The athletic festival is getting closer. I'm really looking forward to attending this festival. However, the prize has not yet been chosen. What should we do? <laughs> hey, stop talking and bring me the prof here to me! Now, give me to... Now, give this to Marina. Did that feel? That means he's the prize to be won? What is this? It's an invitation card. Marina was also invited to the Athletic Fest. It's time for the Athletic Fest, and the prof is the grand prize. Is it a full body cast? 
Croft, it seems like this planet has many inhabitants. Hello, Prof, are you listening? Are you listening at all? Oh, no, wait, I forgot, it's a dummy. Hey, it's a decoy. What? What's this, a love letter for me? Wow, how sweet. A sweet, Im a secret admirer. I've kidnapped Theo. Come to Snow Mountain if you want him back, Lunar. Not the Prof. Poor thing, they've worked so hard on it. You've gone too far, little girl. I'll punish you with my burning fist of justice. <laughs> you heard him, he's gonna punish us, us with that burning fist of justice. Alright, well, with that said and done, that is Mount, or, no, no, this is Mount Snow, that was Megan's Shrine. I will see you once I get all the gold gems, and I'll show you the locations of each. Yeah! Starting off with Vertigo, the gold gem here is kind of a hassle to get to. As soon as you reach the last set of red clam blocks, drop a bomb and immediately race to the blue clam blocks above you. Once you see the blocks guarding the warp gate explode, jump to the gate and then turn around and race the exploding clam blocks to the top. There is a small elevator that is kind of random when it comes down, so if your timing is bad, just hover there for a bit and you should be able to get on. Right it up to the top for your gold gem. Up next is Magma Rafts. Now this gem is pretty easy to get, I was just an idiot during our first run. To get this, just get to where the spring clam ball is and look for a clancer with a flower in his head. Shake him for your gold gem. Lastly is Megan and Sun, and as I said earlier, to get this gem you just need to beat both of them without taking any damage. While a little complicated, it isn't as scary as it sounds, just focus on taking out Megan fast, then focus on Sun, and be extra mindful of his fake out punches. Yeah! And that's it for all our missing gold gems in Megan Shrine. Next time on Mischief Makers, I hope you all dress warmly, cause we are heading off to Mount Snow and the Winter Games. See you all next time. Later.